country love buzz. It is I, Zam Wise, and here I am with another home recording just for you. Now, this is a very unique video. I don't have a piece of material in front of me. I don't have a poem. I don't have a song. I don't have a book. I don't have an album. And I don't have another creator here to interview. This is pretty much just a simple request for two different books. Now, I am crazy about books of lyrics. To me, they do count as poetry, or at least most of them do. <laughs> now, there was one particular artist who I don't think I've mentioned enough, who has been a major influence to me, both in the literary sense and musically. Um, just one of many influences, of course. He's just incredibly amazing. Even though he started making music in the mid-60s and then ceased abruptly in 1977 due to his untimely death in a violent car accident, it still rings true today. His name was Mark Bolin. He was the frontman for T-Rex. Now, there is one book of his available called The Warlock of Love, and a lot of his poetry is accessible online, but to all the publishers out there, I am begging and pleading, please, please, please make a complete lyrics book. And if you really want to entice buyers, also reissue The Warlock of Love. It's a beautiful, beautiful book of poetry. It was, it, whenever you read his work, it almost looks like He's a descendant of J.R.R. Tolkien. Very, very mythical, very, um, very fantasy-like. A lot of sci-fi influenced his work as well. And while many of his more poppy songs weren't as poetic, they did carry some fragments of his poetic ability. He was a, he was a poet first. He, like me, extremely prolific, extremely prolific. Now, I'm not, I'm not comparing myself to his genius. I'm not saying I'm great like Bolin once. I'm just, just, just simply stating the fact about quantity. Now, um, I'm sure that uh, I'm not the only person to have brought this up, to have brought this to the attention of any publisher. But I implore you. Please, please explore this option. You will not be sorry. He is, his work is just timeless. Now, in the U.S., he wasn't as popular besides a few key songs, but uh, later on, his, his work did succeed in becoming very popular. That's number one. Number two, make a complete lyrics of David Bowie. There have been many, many books released since his unfortunate demise, and I know for a fact I'm not the only person who has thought about this and who has been wishing and hoping for a complete lyrics book. So, for both of them. And I'm not just including the commercially released pieces, I'm also including unreleased songs. Include those lyrics. Do whatever you have to do. Go through, <laughs> just just go through those copyright laws. Go through that step-by-step -step procedure. Um, you will not be sorry. We as fans will thank you as well as the artist. It's, I, I just think it's high time that we release these books. Please, please consider it. Oh, and if I may throw this in as well uh, for a few extra books. Complete lyrics of Robert Johnson, one of my favorite blues artists, who's very poetic. Complete lyrics of Daniel Johnston. <laughs> and the complete lyrics of Nick Drake. Now, technically, the complete lyrics of Nick Drake are available. It's just in this humongous book that's pretty much devoted to his entire story. Yeah, you know what? Second thought, just thinking out loud here, the publishers worked extremely hard on that book, as well as the editors and the writers. Just forget that one. Forget that one. There, that's 
Nick Drake is done. Um, the day is done. So anyway, this was mainly about Bowen and Bowie. So please, please consider releasing those books. Poetry lives, along with the arts. Thanks for listening.